how is it uh i mean atmosphere is definitely different uh than some of the other games you know this year somehow it got more fans in um i mean gabby i don't know if your family is able to travel overseas but i mean is it nice to have uh you know a number of faces familiar faces in the crowd maybe yeah it definitely is i know for a lot of people they're really excited to have their friends family be able to all come together so uh unfortunately my family can't get out here but it's definitely good to see every all the fans and all that sort of stuff sorry sorry they cannot come support nah, it's all right. gabby how confident were you in the fifth inning when you gave up the walk and that little infield single that you were going to get out of that inning um pretty confident i knew i just had to do my job the team would do theirs uh yeah essentially just follow out the plan of if they get a hit make sure they hit it to the, the fielders otherwise yeah and uh coach what were your oh. thoughts uh, i'm sorry what were your thoughts uh, heather on, on the game uh exciting awesome to be able to play in front of our home crowd that grew a little bit since the last time we got to play at home uh i thought we played great defense and had timely hitting and we had nine you know and if you want to count bailey klingler i think 10 women who've never played a postseason game at husky stadium get a win under their belt so that was exciting as well so just like coach tara you were really aggressive right away um with sending i mean i don't know if JT or, you know, sending sits right away at first pitch, Bailey. Uh, I, you, I could tell with like the pinch running, you, I mean, Gray pitched a nice game for PSU, but I mean, that aggression, um, I mean, what kind of, just is that what you're going to be this postseason? I mean, yeah, aggressive? I think, um, yeah, I think just our style is we're trying to win the game. And if it's going to take us steals and singles to win games, we're going to do that, you know, um, sometimes we'll win via the home run and, with power, but we don't think that, you know, we're just going to like power people to death. So we have to be aggressive and we've got speed to do it. What were your thoughts on Gabby's performance tonight? Awesome. Um, I thought she got over things that, you know, little things, you know, it's only a matter of time sometimes in a game like that, where you're like, all right, we know the situation. We know there's a lot of zeros up there on the board. And then sometimes like one walk can lead to one hit and then she shut it down right away. So um, we're definitely very blessed at times to watch this gal pitch. And I think sometimes we just assume it's gonna happen and um, we try not to take it for granted. She threw a great game. Gabby, do you, uh, do you, do your teammates ever like talk to you about kind of like the swag walk you do between your pitches, you walk around? Um, and then even like when you walked your first batter, you know, like you're probably not thinking about your perfect game or whatever you had it going, but then you just look at Lance, I think kind of shrugged it off and you're like, Oh, I got the next pitch. I mean, what, what are you thinking out there? Um, just throw good pitches in good spots. Unfortunately, I missed too many in a row and put her on base. And I was like, well, that's not going to happen again. So that was all that was going through my head. <laughs> And Coach Tar, um, Michigan has two great pitchers. Uh, I mean, you're able to see a lot of those in Pac-12 play. How do you think that prepares you to see, like, you know, two great pitchers from Michigan? Yeah, I mean, we're philosophically, offensively, we try to compete against the dominant arm, you know? Like, we're not expecting that we're going to win games 9-8. to eight. Um, And if we do, we can do that. But we know that the – the championship type of softball is going to be against really good pitching. And so we're excited for the opportunity to see what we can do tomorrow. And lastly, I mean, getting that, uh, you know, getting sis on base, uh, sis, well, that was funny, sis base on base uh, at the beginning there uh, against Michigan. I mean, the, the top of your lineup, is that going to be a key for you? You think tomorrow too? Oh, the whole lineup's key. I mean, you know, you, you put Jen Cummings in, then she, she, you know, almost goes oppo. Uh, there's a lot of gals that can compete. It's not just all about the top of the lineup. Now, of course, when the top of the lineup comes through, we have a really good chance to win those games. But up and down the lineup, all throughout the team, we think that, you know, anybody can come through at any time. Yeah, plugging Jen in there, too. What was the motivation on that? Oh, I just thought, like, give, give her an opportunity. Uh, 
she puts together pretty darn good practice weeks all the time and give her a chance and let her go. What was Portland State able to, you faced, you faced them earlier today, uh, earlier in the year, um, uh, and, and even uh, what was, uh, what were they able to do today to keep your, uh, I mean, I guess, what was Olivia Gray able to do um, kind of to keep your hitters off balance? Yeah, I think she's been throwing really well lately. I know there's been a couple of the big sky games that she threw like, you know, 80 pitch gems and, and has carried her team throughout that whole time. But I don't know if you guys know this, but Portland State wasn't able to come together as a team until January. And so, you know, much credit to them for getting to the place that they are today. Um, you know, it's cool to see another team from the Pacific Northwest succeeding. One more, Gabby, uh, just like seeing your teammates, like, you know, support you, especially Morgan, you have that relationship. How comfortable are you out there? Uh, with her and just knowing that she's kind of like, you know, the second part of the, the piece. Yeah, they're all really good at what they do and knowing that they're right there and supporting and yelling and having a, a ball and just, it makes my life as a pitcher that much easier just because I know that they're going to do anything that they have to do to get the job done. So it's, incredible uh, atmosphere to play in, that's for sure.